had that one. House sitting. Who's going to tell us about house sitting? Marlene Ward, please welcome Marlene. <laughs> in Australia three years ago, I learned that quite often you can have more than one job. So apart from training that I do, I have done some house and pet sitting. Well, no, once. <laughs> I've just returned yesterday from seven days on a three and a half acre plot in Mandere. When I told South African friends, they were horrified because no way in South Africa would you go and sit on a plot that size without being very, very fearful. Nevertheless, I arrived at this plot to look after two Labradors, eight hens, or I don't know, hens, they were chooks, chooks hens, <laughs> and a very old man who, a lovely old man who's dying of cancer. And it worked out fine. I was able to feed the dogs twice a day, beautiful Labradors. But I had to collect eggs every evening. So I would climb this hill, very rocky hill, to get to the top. The first day, <coughs> halfway up, I tripped. And I grabbed onto this small tree, and like Tarzan, I swung <laughs> over the rocks and landed on my back. I uprooted half this tree. <laughs> but what really came out of my seven days was meeting Richard. He's an ex-Zimbabwean, and there's a whole colony of Zimbabweans around this area. He is old British gentleman. And he and I had wonderful talks. We shared books. I met some of his friends. I took him out for tea. He can no longer drive. And for me, the puny amount you receive for house sitting doesn't count. But it was meeting someone like Richard. And I'll be going up into the hills again to have tea with my new Zimbabwean, ex-Zimbabwean buddy, Richard. Thank you.